Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving the third numerical on SF and BM diagram which is solved using Answers Workbench Tutorials. So this is the numerical that we have. This question is a little different from the previous ones because here you can see the load is applied at an angle. Now what I'll be doing is I'm going to resolve the forces and draw the FBD and then apply the forces on the beam. I'm not applying them at an angle. I'm applying them as a force in X and in Y direction. So this is the solution which I have obtained using theoretical method by calculations of strength of material. You can do the same calculation and tally the answers with answers. This video has already been recorded and uploaded in the subject of strength of materials, you can check it there. This question will also have an actual force diagram. Now, in ANSYS, actual force diagram cannot be obtained, but you can definitely obtain the actual force which is calculated over the entire beam. So, we will go through the numerical and we will see how these various things can be obtained in ANSYS. So, we will start with drawing the beam and then applying of the boundary conditions. You can see at end A and at end E, there are two support reactions that can be obtained. These are hinge and roller respectively. The beam will be divided into four parts. So let's start with answers now. I'll go to static structural and double click on it. I'll name the file as SFBM example 3. I'll go to geometry, right click. New design modeler geometry. I'll go to XY plane, look at the unit is meter. I'll go to sketching line. The first portion A to B is 1 meter. So I'll give it dimension. Then I'll draw the next portion of the beam. Then the third one and finally the fourth one. Now let's give it dimensions. This is 1.5 meter. Two meter and one point five meter. You can use the move option to move this H one. Next, I'll go to concept lines from sketches. I'll choose the sketch one, apply, generate. This has become a line body now. I need to give it a cross section. I'll go to concept, cross section. Let's choose I cross section. I leave the dimensions to as it is. Line body. This is the cross section chosen. I want to see the cross section. So I'll go to view, cross section solids. Here is the cross section obtained. So that completes the geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh. Sizing, I'll change it to fine. Update. So this is my beam orientation. I'll go to static structural. I'll choose point. At this point, I will insert 
hinge so i'll choose remote displacement in the x direction there will be no movement y direction 0 and z direction 0 for rotation in x direction it is 0 y direction i'll make it to 0 and z direction i will make it free because now my orientation is a little different if you analyze next i'll insert force now i will be applying force at this point if you look at the diagram at the second point b there are two forces one is 2 kN downward direction and 3.464 kN towards the right that is along the x axis so i will be first applying the x direction load 3.46 kN that is 3460 Newton towards the right. Next, at this point itself, I am going to apply another force. So, insert force. I'll change vector to component and I'm applying the force along the z axis. You can see now z is the vertical axis. So, in this axis, I'm going to apply 2 kN downward. Next, I'll go to the point C and insert force. I'll change vector to component. You can see here at point C there are two forces 4.243 kN in the downward direction and 4.243 kN in negative x axis. So let me apply in the x axis negative 4243 and again at this junction i'm going to apply a load along the z axis minus 4243 newton then i'll go to the point d i'll insert force change vector to component here you can see at point d there is 4 kN to the right along the x axis and 6.928 kN in the downward direction so let me apply the downward direction minus 6928 and another load 4 kN along the positive x axis. So 4000. So all values of forces have been applied. At this last point I have to insert remote displacement. You can see that in the figure it is a roller. So for roller, x value is free, y is 0, z is 0. And when you go to the rotation component, I was keeping the rotation about y free in the nu previous numerical. Here I will keep x 0, y 0 and z free. I will go to solution and solve. I'll go to the solution and insert deformation directional. I want to see the deformation along the z-axis. Also, I'll use probe and see the force reaction at remote displacement 1 and at remote displacement 2. I want to see the beam tool result. And finally, I want to see the beam results of action force and shear moment diagram. For that I need to mention a path. So I will go to model, construction geometry, path. I will change path type to edge. I will choose this line, press control and select the rest of the lines. Apply. Here I will change it to the path that I have created. Next I will go to solution. Right click, evaluate all results. Now let's see the directional deformation on the beam. Here the unit is meter. If you want, you can change the units to millimeter or you can leave it to meter itself. That's your choice. This is the force reaction at the end A. Since it is along the Z direction, I'll see the value here, force reaction Z. 
It is 5584.4 written. If you check the solution by graphical method, here the value is 5.87 kN. So it is actually close. Next, I'll go to the force reaction at the end E. This is the last point. You can see here the value is 7.3 kN. Here I have obtained the value as 7586.6 Newton. So they are close. Here you can see the minimum combined stress on the beam. You can animate and check it. This is the maximum combined stress on the beam. This is the actual force on the beam. Now if you look very carefully at this beam, this is your eye section. This first color is indicating the first part of the beam, AB. This is indicating BC. This is CD and this is DE. If you want, you can check. Let's take a probe. Here the value is 3217. You can check here the value is 3221 kN. Next, at this point, if I want to see, it is minus 243. The unit is Newton. Here the value is 0 0.243 kN. So it's close again. At this point, it is 4000 Newton. So this will be 4 kN. As you can see here, it's positive. And here also the value is positive. At the last portion, the value obtained is minus 1.262 into 10 raised to minus 10, which is approximately 0. And when you see this diagram, it is 0. So by using this actual force diagram, you can actually analyze the values that you have obtained on this beam. Next, let's go to the shear force and bending moment diagram. Here I have two main values which are given to me. That is at 2500 mm. Okay, let's change the unit to meter. It will be easy for us to understand. That is 2.5 meter value is 658.58 Newton. So here at point C, this is very less and it is point 373 kilonewtons. So, this is very close. You can start from this point A. Here you will see the value is 5854.6 and here it is 5.87 kilonewtons. So, it is very close to the value obtained by theory. And accordingly, you can check at every point. The max value here is at 4.5 meter, that is 7586.6 newton. So, let's check at 4.5 here. The value is 7.301. That's close. For bending moment also, you can check the values. At various points, you're getting various values. Uh, we can check with this value that is given at 1.4167 meter. At this point, your value is 121.73 Newton meter. That is 0 0.121. So let's check at 1.43. So it is 1.43. That is somewhere here. You're getting the value. At this point, it is given and the maximum value is given as 8692.2 Newton meter at 6 meter. So somewhere here the value is given as 8 point. The rest of the values that you see here can also be found by checking this table. So when you go through this table at various points, you can find their values. So by using ANSYS, this is the graph that I obtained. You will not find the exact answers that you have found by theory. It will be a little bit of here and there. It also depends on the sign convention that has been used while making the coding of the software. So if the sign conventions are different from the ones that we have used, obviously your value will be little different than the values that you have obtained here. If you want to see the solution, you can also see it in this format, total bending moment and beam results shear force. So this will give you the bending moment and the shear force on the beam. So again this is A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E. This is the full beam that you are seeing and when you click the probe button over this beam you can find the values at various points like at this position and everywhere. Now here when you see different colors for total bending moment, it simply means that at different positions, the values are different. Now you can check the colors here and accordingly you can estimate the values or you can use probe and click at various points and get their values. So this is how you are supposed to solve this kind of a numerical using 
answers. I hope you have understood the procedure of solving. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session with another numerical on this topic. Thank you.